Hi, in this video we'll learn how to add or subtract fractions with unlike denominators. You can see that my denominators are different in both the fractions. So first thing we need to do is we need to find a common denominator. I cannot add or subtract these fractions unless I have the common denominator, unless I have the same denominators. So to find the common denominator, what I'm going to do is I'll multiply both the fractions by a number. Well, basically what we do is we find the least common multiple of the denominator. So my, I have 4 and 9. So what I'm going to do is I can find the least common multiple of 4 and 9. So you list down the multiples of 4 and 9. And then you look for the number which is smallest and common in both of them. That's always an option to find the least common denominator, but in this particular question, I'm going to tell you a different strategy to add or subtract the fractions. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to write my both the fractions negative 1, 4, and then I'll put some space in between. Then we have the minus sign here. We have 7 nines. What I need to do is, first thing is, since I have different denominators, I'm going to multiply my fractions by a number. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I have to multiply my fraction with the other fraction's denominator. So I'm going to look at my first fraction. Here I have negative 1 fourth. Then I'm going to look at the other fraction's denominator. I have 9 in the other fraction's denominator. That means I will multiply my first fraction by 9 over 9. Okay, And then I need to multiply the other fraction. So for multiplying this fraction, I'm going to look at the first fraction's denominator. So the first fraction's denominator is 4. That means I'm going to multiply this fraction by 4 over 4. So what I did is basically look at this. This is my first fraction. I multiplied this first fraction by the other fraction's denominator. So I multiplied by 9 over 9. And then I took my second fraction and I multiplied my second fraction with the first fraction denominator. So the First fraction's denominator was 4. So basically, you multiply your fraction by the other fraction's denominator. Now, why did I do this? I'll tell you in a little bit that why I did this. But remember that you have to multiply your numerator as well as the denominator by the same number. Because basically what you're doing here is this is 9 divided by 9. 9 divided by 9 is equal to 1. That means you're multiplying your fraction by 1. If you multiply negative 1 fourth by 1, you're not changing the value of it. So that's why we're multiplying by 9 over 9 and here by 4 over 4. It's basically we're just multiplying by 1 and not changing the value of fraction at all. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to multiply numerator with the numerator and the denominator with the denominator. So negative 1 times 9, I have in the numerator, negative 1 times 9 is going to be negative 9. And then 4 times 9 is equal to 36. Then we have the minus sign in between. We're going to put that minus sign. And then we can multiply again. 7 times 4 is going to give me 28. And then 9 times 4 is going to be 36. And you see that I've got the same denominators. That is why I multiplied each fraction with the other fraction's denominator so that I can get the common denominator, right? Now, we can easily go ahead and add or subtract these fractions. So what I'm going to do now is I will write my common denominator, which is 36. And, and then in the numerator, I have negative 9. And then we have the minus sign in between. We can put that minus sign here and then 28. Now, negative 9 take away 28 is going to give me negative 37. And then we cannot change the denominator because that's our common denominator. So we're going to put that as it is. Now, this is an improper fraction. We cannot leave our answer in this form. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide, use the long division method to convert this into a mixed fraction. Remember, whenever you have an improper fraction, when, you, when your numerator is greater than denominator, you need to convert that into a mixed fraction. So here we're going to divide. Forget about the negative sign for a bit. We can just go ahead and divide 37 divided by 36. Well, 36 will go into 37 one time. So we'll get here 36 and then we can subtract. 7 minus 6 is equal to 1. 
Now we can write our final answer, but remember that we ignored the negative sign, so we have to make sure that we put the negative sign in front of our answer. And then when we write the mixed fraction, the quotient becomes our whole number. And then the remainder becomes the fraction's numerator. And divisor becomes the fraction's denominator. So our final answer is going to be negative 1 and 1 over 36. So this is another way to add or subtract the fractions with unlike denominators. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.